Space is open to us now. We go into space. I've been holding my action. It's time to go. We're waiting for Jay. He is taking a shower. Mm -hmm. it's taking a taking a shower, and uh, once he's done taking a shower, then uh, hopefully he'll be back. And yeah, we can play some role playing games. Done. Yeah. I don't even want to say the word. We can play some role playing games. I don't even want to say the word. <laughs> I mean, it's in all so of our you, titles, though, yeah. so like, yeah. it's not like yeah. it's. Not, uh, it's kind of like on the screen right now. <laughs> it is on the screen right now. I still don't want to say yeah. the word because. Yeah. yeah. If you want to know what we're talking about, go back through. Uh, go go check out our live stream from two days ago. But uh, hey, Garrett. Do your thing, man, so yes. we can get started. Oh. Vibe check. I'm loading in. 27. 27. Ugh. Higher than last time. Three. That's three nines, which are upside down sixes, which is really bad. Or really good, mm. depending on what you're looking at. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Three so nine is in we? the Galaxy Express three nine. Ah. Galaxy Express three nine will take you on a journey, a ending journey, a journey to the stars. Sorry. Um, okay. oh, I was gonna vibe. Yeah, definitely. Last time on Up, Up and Away, Nova Destiny, it was mainly an exploratory episode. They explored the saucer section found two key cards, figured out what they did. One, a silver key card with a black strip, opens this lab. The other opens some sort of a black book. Not a MacBook, a black book. And uh, you found another room that had some sort of an undead wolf type of a creature within this cage. Sid raised a zombie from a sin person, possibly a scientist, who had stuffed himself into a canister. And Rumby, trying to open a door, got his hand jammed down into the wall and eventually got that open just a little bit. And Solus ripped him out and, uh, you know, ouch. And that's where we are right now. Right so here. Good. What in the dark? True. Hey, I Get didn't it. hear you. Could you repeat that? No. Yeah, yeah. Your uh, your <laughs> audio was cutting out. <laughs> audio was cutting in and out. <laughs> I, need, uh... yeah, I need a refresher there. Yeah. All right. So here we are. Rumby has... Uh, he had punched the panel, jammed his hand down in... Uh, grabbed a phallic-like thing and pulled real hard, which is pretty typical for Rumby. But somehow, he was able to get the door open just a crack. Then he dislocated his shoulder after I pulled him out. Yeah, he did. You, you said but, it, though. But, it, but the shoulder's not dislocated. The yeah. shoulder's not dislocated because Mary reset the shoulder. Right. Yeah. So I guess at this point, I mean, whose turn is it? So at this point, you're standing in front of the door, and uh, we're still in uh, we're still in turns because we're kind of moving slowly. So uh, let's just I'll just go from from left to right. Let's go ahead and start with Sid. It looks like Sid is uh, in the doorway of the room with the undead. Right. If I remember correctly, Solus and I were going to take the wolf, the cage of the wolf, over to the room where they were testing on it. You were going to attempt oh. to get the wolf over to here? The lab area? In yeah. the saucer section. Uh, I can't see the lab, but uh, yes, over there. Okay. All right. 
you're aware that the cage itself is probably um, going to be, you're probably going to, it's going to be very, a very tight squeeze. It looks like you might be able to get it out, but man, it's going to be tight. And it looks heavy. So was Solus going to help you with that? Yeah, of course. And then uh, Solus will come back. What's up? I was going to also say, are you going to have the zombie assist zombie as help? well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So for you to Barry's just gonna get out of the way. Yeah. For you to, I'm, we're not going to, I'm just want to kind of get, figure out exactly what everyone is doing before we can kind of initiate all of the actions. So I kind of want to get each thing, like what is everybody specifically trying to do? So Solus, Sid, the zombie, what's your plan for this next 10 minute turn i'm thinking the chud at the very least is just uh flexing well last time chud was kind of just kind of being a guard he was basically yeah. parading around in the middle of this uh saucer section up here uh so that's kind of yeah, the last thing he was he's doing. he's actually not guarding he just looks like he's guarding, you know? Mm -hmm. He's really making it look like he's guarding. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. Chud, Chud Studley, the laziest paladin. He's just waiting for action. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Sid and... Uh, anyone who needs saving right now. Yeah. Sid and Solus, what is the, uh, what is the plan for, for you guys so far? What, what do you intend to do? And how do you intend to do it? All uh, right, Sid. So we didn't see I, a cart, did we, back there or anything? You have not seen any kind of cart as of yet, no. Should we just try to push this thing into the lab? Uh, yeah, I don't... Let's give it a try. How heavy can they be? Uh. Uh, and I'll like get the zombie to push behind as well. Okay. So so basically at this point then, I'm just so that I understand, your your intention is to just brute force just try and lift it, it and, and yeah. just drag it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. So Easy work for Solus. Alright, so that means Solus and you guys all need to be in there. All right, so that's what you're doing. What is Rumby doing? Because he's Rumby's the next one. He's start... in front of this door. He's that's... To, like... Yeah, he's going to finagle the door and try to open it. Okay. Is he going to try and like use just use his hands and push, or is he trying going to try and find something to pry? Oh, oh, baby, he's going to push. No, all he's right. gonna use the he's gonna use his um the wand thingy that he got that makes all the noise. Okay, that rotary and tool gonna, thing. Yeah, and he's gonna kind of try to use that as a pry bar. Okay. And it, it, it looks like it's starting to do anything to like destroy the thing. Then he's gonna stop doing it. Okay. He, he doesn't. He, it's from it's Rumby. Is he going to activate the rotary as he does it? Or is he just going to use the tool as a pry bar without acting, he, activating no, the rotary? He, 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 no, no, he used to... Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh. Gotcha, all right. Um, all right, so it, then... It, it, be, and, and, and if it doesn't work, then he, might, he may he may end up using it as a tool with the, with the noise as, as, a, as, as, an, as a Rumby effect. Okay, all right. What right is now, Mary I, trying to do then? within this so, next 10 minutes here ish so mary is going to hang with rumby mm -hmm. and she's going to go she's going to see to go into that room with rumby <laughs> however sure he doesn't injure himself mm -hmm. further however if the cage starts coming down the hall before they get into that room mary is going to evacuate out into this area to stay away from the cage okay okay gotcha but her main intent is to hang with rumby and see if he can get this door open mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. We know Ched is just kind of chilling. What about Argyle? Argyle is actually, because um, we never actually resolved this, Argyle is emptying the boxes, ah, remember? That's right. Argyle was emptying boxes. So he had pulled a bunch of crates open, and there was a lot of tubing and stuff just all over the floor. Because he's looking for a pry bar, too, remember? He wants to pry the Open door on the floor. The floor. Gotcha. He but he's to, probably he looking to... for a pry bar that has a really skinny end, because the thing on the mm -hmm. floor is very... um, Yeah, yeah, it's it's but, sealed tight. But also, if, he, if, if there's anything interesting in those crates, obviously, he's going to... You know, but, but you said that, you know... We'd come back to to him emptying mm -hmm. the crates and all that. Okay, so that's what okay. he's doing. Gotcha. I was just trying to get an overview of what everybody was doing. All right, so mm -hmm. Solus starts to pull this this crate. Now, how are you doing it exactly? Because it is a cage. So, like, if you if you just put your hands on the bars, like on the front of the bars of the cage, well, that thing is right there and it's just going to bite your hands so right what is the mechanism that you're going to use to protect yourself as you drag the cage out because at Let the moment yeah how much space does the the wolf creature have to maneuver around in the cage like if i were to get on the back side of it could i could i like push from the back and it couldn't turn around and bite me so here, let me adjust this so that the stream can see. Why don't you just? Punch oh, I, the I guess looking at the map, it looks like he has plenty of space to move. Yes. Why don't you punch the cage? Yeah. So there's there's plenty of space in the uh, there's plenty of space in the cage. It almost looks like you could, if you wanted to be, well, I guess it wouldn't be cruel because they're undead. But if you wanted to just pack them in there, you could probably get four of these things in in a single uh in a single cage so it's got a lot of space to move around and there's not a lot of places where you could grab that it couldn't hit you uh the back is flush to the wall so there's no way to get behind it and it's also flushed with this second cage that's empty over here so okay. the the you facing it its left side is also not accessible you can only access okay. the front and the right side at the moment quick question okay can mary hear the discussion about what's going on probably not she uh it's the only discussion being had. I mean, it's really only 50 feet, but it's in this room, though there's a lot of echoes. She can probably hear it, but mm, let's see if she can really make it out. Make an intelligence check. Okay. If she can if she could really like parse it cuz it's hard to hear, but she might be able to understand. Oh, it almost got to that one, but it went to that 19. Yeah, it's an echoey mess. Shit. So you can hear okay. them talking, but it. It's... But I don't know what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm they're definitely having a anyway. discussion. You're paying attention to Rumby. Also, Rumby's probably making a lot of noise at this point because he's trying to get the fucking door open. But we'll we'll get to that okay. in a minute. Okay. Okay. So after thinking for a second. I'm going to go back and see if there's anything that's been dug up from the crates in the main hub room. And, like, maybe I could find a hook or something or something that I don't have to directly touch the cage. Okay. All right. Okay. So Solus is going to uh, gonna, gonna go and find some stuff. All right. So as you're doing that, Rumby, go ahead and make a strength check uh, to try and pry this open. Rumby needs five minutes. Oh, that's Roberto. It's the wrong person. I'll use Rumberto, not R Rumby. Rumberto. Yeah, <laughs> a completely different person. Completely different of course, person. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rumby makes this for a strength check. Okay. Yeah. 
So, Rumby is he's this tool. It is starting to kind of come open a little bit further. Now, here is what I will say, because all this is kind of happening at the same time. Solus is actually probably getting to he because remember Mary was kind of interested so Mary is going to actually have an opportunity to talk to Solus because he's got to walk down through the hall as Rumby is doing this thing mm -hmm. so there's probably going to be a little bit of an interaction there that we maybe don't want to skip so Rumby's okay. starting to get the door open a little bit more and uh what have you found oh hey Mary um this room has some cages in it, and uh, you saw the lab, right, with the, the strange wolf thing. Uh, there's another one in here, and Sid and I were thinking that maybe... Strange we... wolf thing? Yeah, yeah. Didn't you see the, the lab no, room? No, the other, the other thing in there is just a big hunk of fur. It doesn't look like a wolf. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, scratch that. Uh, yeah, we found a wolf thing the cage and uh we were thinking that maybe if we took it to the lab and like we could see what they were researching and like test it on the wolf maybe so it's uh not, it's not a wolf it's a wolf, a wolf. You, gotta, you gotta remember wolf. It's, you it's gotta a wolf. remember it you gotta is remember. a wolf yeah. it's a wolf <laughs> now it's a wolf Rumby, as he's pulling this door open, thinks he spots something in this room. What the hell is that? that? There's something big Ooh. in this room. Something big in the room. Yeah, so while Mary and, and Rumby are having this conversation, like, or I mean, R sorry, Mary and Solus are having this conversation, Rumby's like prying the thing open, and he's got it now to about the point where and you might not be able to quite squeeze through especially with armor and stuff but it's definitely open enough where you can like you can like stick your head through and there's something in there there's some big orange thing big it, orange uh, thing Ari's going to shine the light in there so you shine the light in but you guys can see that right i can now i can't tell what it is i can just see it's a big orange thing you're looking in there and it you is that a fucking lawnmower what, <laughs> what it is what it is not a lawnmower but that's, uh that's what it looks like it looks like a because like they got people... those space lawnmowers <laughs> no <laughs> seriously seriously look at it it looks like a lawn it looks like a lawnmower so I don't know if I agree with that, but so you're looking at it and you see it's this it's this big orange thing. It looks like it has a seed in it and it looks like it has these big prongs sticking out of the front at the very a bottom. Forklift. What is that? It's a forklift. Well, we don't What's know a that. Forklift? Yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing. You don't know what a fucking fork is. You're from the desert. <laughs> Though, you have enough experience to, after you look at this thing, it does look like a vehicle. There's a seat. Rumby wants to drive it. You Rumbie gotta get into to... this room first. You're still... You, I want, you, I, you... I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start squeezing and start pushing. Okay, so I... now you're you're actually gonna like try and like to squeeze in. Okay, yeah, so Rumby's probably wearing say, soft armor, so you might be able to what, squeeze in. Solus, can you help him? Maybe we can get the door open. Sure, sure. Step aside. Barry backs up and lets the two of them get in. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, that should right. do it. With Solus's help, you're able to push the cuz it's it's a door that that has you know it opens like this like the your standard star trek style doors um mm -hmm. with solus's help they're able to totally push in the one side 
which means that now you can get into the room. Now, you might not be able to get this vehicle out of the room exactly with just the one door, but you can totally see it now. It's definitely oh, it's a vehicle. You can rip that. Oh, I'm, I'm totally want to go, go sit in it. Hmm. Well, let me know if you guys need any help. I've got to got to talk to uh, who's digging through the crates again. Argyle. Argyle. I've got to talk to Argyle about something. Did Mary find a box in the room? Uh, no. It looks like the. Uh, it looks like that. Uh, it's on an apparatus, and there's like a control panel. Oh, it's it. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the this does, this does vehicle. Does the control panel have power? The control panel currently does not have power. No. Okay. Okay. But that, yeah, that's uh, that's what you're seeing. So Solus heads around, and you said Rumby is now gonna go into the room and uh, get on this thing. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. So I, mean, I can see it now, but it still looks like a lawnmower to me. Lawnmower man, Rumby, lawnmower man. <laughs> All right. So Argyle over here. Uh, go ahead and make another intelligence check. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Argyle, baby. So Argyle has been searching actually for a while. He's been searching not just this turn, but since oh, last turn. Oh, was that Rumby? I thought you, I thought you said Rumby. Oh. Oh, no, no but Rumbie. actually Rumby needs an intelligence. If Is, is he going to try and if start he's... the thing? Yeah, because he's, he's, he's trying to fuck around with it and wants to drive it. Okay. All right, you needed the intelligence check too, so we'll just go ahead and since you thought that it was for that anyway, we'll just go ahead and keep that one. All right, I'll be nice. Okay, so Argyle's digging around. Argyle thinks he's found some stuff, probably right about the time that Solus is getting over to him. Rumby, meanwhile, this actually probably catches a lot of attention because Rumby's like on the thing. He's like fucking with stuff. All of a sudden, you just hear this. And you can like hear it's fucking loud. It, oh, well, Mary's in that room. That was probably t terrible. Room, yeah, though. she probably jumps. And uh, you know what? I wonder if how I big is this do. room? Uh, how big is the room? The room is so uh, it's a square. Yeah, it's square, so it's like 20, okay. almost 30 by 22, something like that. Decent sized room. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I was going to see, though, is there a way for me to select? Select it so you can move it. Right now, it looks like Rumby is under it. He's not on it. He's under it. Yeah, oh, it, works. Oh, it works. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, no, he's sitting oh, in the driver's seat. Because, see, okay. that's the front. Yeah, so I wanted to see if I could. Okay. Uh, yeah, because this, obviously, this part is the forklift part. So you are you get it started up, and it Steve, definitely that's why it seems. Look like a that's why it doesn't look like a forklift because there's a bar at the at the at the top of the two. There's a bar that connects the other two bars, so it makes it looks like look like a handle. So mm -hmm. that's why it's, I said it looks like a lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I get because, that. I because get forklifts that. don't have that bar there. I mean, not our regular forklifts, but modern day we're, forklifts we're, we're, that were provided by the. Uh, the the author of this uh, of this lovely sci-fi set that we are using currently um, <laughs> thinks that they do, and uh, that's good enough for me. So okay. I'm just going to do some just going to do some burnouts real quick on this to get comfortable, <laughs> and then he's going to charge that door. Oh God! Well, just open the. You you're right now. You're still you you're trying to learn how to use it. 
yeah, at the I moment. Just... Oh, maybe you. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You <laughs> maybe I only I can move you guys together. <laughs> like I, right, if you're well, grouped, that's funny. But either way, here, we well, know Rumb we know Rumb that uh, stand on, is, is going to be hopping. Not not while it's, it's completely black again. It's pretty. Easy. Yeah, that's because you just yeah. popped yourself out into a non area. Oh. Yeah, move yourself was back it, over it, onto the thing. We know that you're. Was there a, was there a dick in that area? <laughs> there, there maybe was a dick in that area. Yeah. Anyway, so okay, so Rumby's kind of like screwing around with this thing. Now, here's the thing: Rumby literally just had flight training, like vehicle training. So it's like. There's kind of some things in this, you know, obviously, and it's a little bit easier because it's like, a, you know, you're not worried about three-dimensional, which in piloting you were. He's only got to worry about two-dimensional. So he's doing burnouts, doing all this stuff. Mary is probably terrified. Um, yeah, yeah, she is in the corner. She's literally, I, I put her in the corner just because she's yeah. in the corner. She's so, like staying away. Um, So... As you're doing this, Jay, go ahead and make a uh, a dexterity check. That will be your driving a check. Because this is a brand new vehicle, so uh, you know it handles a oh, little. By the way, it doesn't handle as nice as a spaceship. Valentina Alcarez. Oh, oh, not good at all. <laughs> with us. Oh no. So. So Rumby's like, he's driving this thing around. He's driving okay, her around. And uh, go ahead. Mary? Mary is going to hide behind this and try to stay. Try to. She's going to try to keep uh, that thing. That thing is between... like that little console is teeny compared to this giant machine <laughs> that's just going to wreak havoc in this fucking room. Uh, Jay, go ahead and roll a percentile. D100. Oh, yeah. You know, it's good when you start rolling percentile dies. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. All right. So. That's not bad. He kind of like, he, basically what happens, he just kind of gets it stuck in the corner. So at the moment, it's kind of like stuck in the corner and the prongs are kind of like stuck up against the wall and the whole thing's just kind of jammed up in there. I will take my, uh. My my thing with the buzz, 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 buzz on the end, the long thing with the buzzes on the end. I'm gonna stick it in the corner and try to and try to use it to like. like I feel as like like a de device. To, I feel I feel like we're gonna have a Jeremy Renner situation here in just a moment. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think now that it's stuck, Mary is going to take the opportunity to run to out of run the fucking the, room. To run the fuck out the room. Yeah. <laughs> Also, everybody else heard that. They would have heard the, like, the, nur, 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 but they would have heard the, the, the big, like, the, and it's probably still making noise. <laughs> okay, is the, is the panel on this wall working? Is this, because we haven't been in that drawer yet, right? That one's open. You've been in there. This or entire maybe time, you by haven't the way. been in there, but. Rumby, Somebody's been in there. Rumby is making sure that everyone knows that he knows what he is doing is what he intends. Oh, of course. Rumby's His hands are flying and stuff, and he, he definitely knows what he's doing. So Mary's It's all going, intentional. Yeah. It's very intentional. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Rumby's the only one in that room now, because Mary got the fuck out of that room. He doesn't really... He's just doing it still for everyone. So Mary ran... And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Mary ran away. Okay. So Argyle, we let's get back to Argyle for a moment because Argyle and Solus. He, he are made his intelligence. Here. Check. And he did uh yeah, he did quite well on his intelligence check. Uh so <clears throat> yes, Argyle has opened a <clears throat> a box that a crate that has a whole bunch of metal equipment in it, or at least equipment that it seems to be as strong as metal. It's full of okay. chains. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's full of chains, hooks, 
like grappling looking things. It's full of all kinds of like pry type. Yeah. It okay. looks like yeah, it even yeah. has those like cage pieces disassembled. Okay. But you found good, a couple good. of crates of it's just like a bunch of just kind of really industrial stuff. There's bolts and all kinds of things. And Solus He's gonna find himself a a good long one. He's gonna he's gonna find himself a good long pry I bar. Bet he and... is. <laughs> and so okay. that he can stick it into that hole. Okay. And Solus is probably getting there right as Argyle's kind of pulling this stuff out. So Solus, yeah. you do see that there are kind of chains and hooks and all kinds of things. Oh, perfect. Just what I was looking for. I uh There's a lot of good stuff in this crate. Yeah, I'm going to take some hooks and chains and uh, maybe find out what the hell that noise was. Yeah, you can definitely hear like a... <laughs> it's like really loud. <laughs> you probably right. heard Mary yeah. scream as she ran across the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll take what I need and I'll uh, I'll hurry back down the hall. Now, during all of this, because that was probably right about a turn, was Sid just kind of hanging out in the uh, waiting? Yep, just chilling. Maybe just turns chilling. when he hears the noise, but uh, isn't concerned yet. Okay, all right. Okay, so then... Um, all right, so then Solus is going to move back over into that room and uh is he gonna is well okay let's let's start there since solus is kind of moving back we'll start with solus is he going to check on the room with rumby before going back to yeah of course Sid? like I spent, okay. like the noise is very evident so yeah I'm yeah just like okay you know, peek my head in and see what's up Okay, so we'll kind of start with that. You walk over, you kind of peek your head in this room here, and you can see Rumby has this machine. It seems to be on. It's like making a noise, like a... And it's kind of like pushing itself up against this wall, and Rumby's kind of like trying to like get it out, and it just looks like a big mess. Rumby, what's going on in here? I'm having a good time here. I moved us to another galaxy, and I'm using this here device to reverse quantum physical <laughs> electrons in this thing here. Wow. I got this poker. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were so intelligent like that. Huh. Well, I'll leave you to it then. I guess you got things under control. And I'm, I'll be on my way. Okay. Uh, so you take the uh, chains and hooks that you have back to the... Um, back to the, uh, the room where Sid waits for you. And uh, what are you guys doing? All right, Sid. I've uh, I've got the stuff that Argyle found, and I think we can use it to uh, to drag this cage on out of here. Sounds good. We'll All right. Hook her up. So I attached the uh, the chain and the hook together, and then I hook one of the bars and get to pull in. All right. Are you uh, are you going to set up an apparatus for the uh... For the the sin zombie as well. The pool. Sure. If, if he wants his own hook and chain, or if he just wants to help me with mine. Or I guess I guess it depends. What what are you going to have the zombie do? Are you gonna? Because I guess it doesn't even matter. The zombie could probably just pull grab from the just grab because it's you know a zombie and. Who knows if it'll get attacked by the other one or not, but uh, would it matter? I don't know. So, yeah, what what is the plan, then? So uh, this is pulling. Yeah, I have another chain chain and hook. Well, I'll hook it up. Uh, if not, yeah, I'll just have it pushed from the back. All right. 
Solus, go ahead and uh, make a strength check. Mm. It's tough, but... Yeah, you start to pull, and even with the leverage of kind of the chain, ah, oh man, you, you, you maybe budge this thing like an inch off the wall. It's pretty mm. it's pretty heavy and pretty big. You're probably gonna you're probably gonna need a, a, a little bit more help. Um the zombie is try is it's not enough for the zombie to really get behind it. So the zombie might at this point have to help you pull. Yeah, okay. But it's it's still not really it's it's tough going. It seems like uh, you you and this zombie might be able to move this cage manually to that lab um, over the next several days at this oh. rate. Ah, I see. <clears throat> uh, but see, so gosh, if there was uh... only some other way to do this, it seems gosh, like they would have some kind of massive machinery that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe we look around a little bit more, Solus, or uh, come back in a little bit. Oh, okay. All right, so you're trying to do that. Now, Mary has entered this room that uh, others have been in. The door was open, but she has not been in before. And uh, she finds what looks to be a large table, a very large table, that... Okay resembles the med bay tables in the sick bay of the destiny but it's really big right okay. so so just for example Our... these beds over here that's the like a that's a bed size for like a you know you, when chud landed in this bed he fit right in it in man size but this man this is big it's like so. Uh, are there are there uh, panels in here? Yes, there are. Um, Is anything in here powered? No, currently no power to uh, to the panels. But yeah, it definitely looks like some sort of a med bay. There are panels. This middle part actually goes over, so it looks like it would go over the top of somebody who was laying in there. Like it would go over Is their it, their middle section. Is it clear? Or can you see into it? You can see into it, but there's it, and I, actually it's mostly open. Like the top, oh, it's like right here, it's like an MRI. The, yeah, the top right like here and the MRI? bottom are open, and this middle part. No, it would kind of like go around your chest basically, or your stomach. Gotcha. Like this. I you see. What okay, I'm saying? I, I see the I see the orientation now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so that is what she finds uh in there and she's gonna uh, poke around and see if she's she can get anything started in here and just yeah she's gonna she's gonna poke around in here okay now is she just gonna mess with the table or is she gonna do a like kind of a full search of the whole room basically oh, just a full search of the whole she's full gonna start with the, the table room. a full search of the whole room okay including if she can take a panel off to try to get power into the room she's gonna she might even try to do that so she's gonna inspect wall panels and lay a mm -hmm. full search then old school yeah, D, &D going... i'm searching the room yep. okay yep. all right yep okay so that that's what she's doing chud is chud doing anything differently than what he was doing before obviously there's this crazy fucking noise that wasn't here before and uh but other than that no, be still watching our backs. All right, so you're just kind of hanging out. Now, Argyle has mm -hmm. found a long, long, thin rod that he uh, intends to try and pry open this uh, this thing, right, on the, on the ground. Yep. All right. Uh, so... 
the first thing that he needs to do is he needs to really try and get it in the seam there. So that's more of, instead of a strength check, that's more of like a dexterity check, I would say, okay. to get it positioned right to where he could actually, you know, use the strength to try and pull it open. Damn. That seam is hard. You're like, Ugh. you're just like, <laughs> there's all kinds of noise. Clang, <laughs> clang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay so yeah at the moment um doesn't seem to be to be working um rumby back to rumby you say uh what what the hell is he trying to do at the moment <laughs> I would. I want to try to get out the door. Are you are so? Are you gonna try to get back into the seat of the thing and try and tr I'm try? I'm trying to move over this thing outside the door. Okay, but you had you was, said you had I'm, gotten I'm gonna... out of it and you were using the tool. Did you get back in it and are you trying to drive it again? Yeah, I mean that's I was in it swinging the tool. I wasn't really. Getting oh, out of it. oh my god. Yelling. Okay, I understand now. All right, uh, go ahead and uh, make another dexterity check. See if you can get this thing unstuck. Come on, baby. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you get it unstuck. Uh, go ahead and roll a 20-sided die. Not anything specific, just like a, a, just a 20. Okay, okay. You've gotten it unstuck, and it seems to be operating okay now. So, what are you going to do? You're kind of... It's uh I'm on I'm gonna move towards that door. Now now is there a now did I notice like when I go towards that door, is there a panel on this side? Like what is on that side of the door? What is on like it like <laughs> there's a panel on the other side of the door to get in and what's what is there to get out? What do you what do you mean? Oh, oh, well, the door is mostly open, remember, because the door is right, like, but is, is there is there a panel on this side of the door to mostly open it more? There is a panel on the side of the door. We might have broken the door. I don't know if I broke into did, did the door or not, but I want to try to see if 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 if, if I can. I understand open the door more. Yes. So when you try the panel, uh, no. <laughs> by using the by using the forklift to smash the panel to open the door. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. It appears that uh, it appears that um, can I not? That's so. So I could group those together. Now I can ungroup them. <laughs> Hang on. No, that doesn't work. That's so weird. Oh, well. That's so funny. Anyway, so, uh, yes. So, anyway, the, uh, yes, the panel is broken. You don't think that the panel is uh, is going to be any help to you to get the rest of the door open. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try to, like, push my way through the door just a little bit. Using the, uh, using forklift. The, the forklift? All right. Or whatever it is, this this device. This device, this vehicle. All right, so uh, go ahead and um, go ahead and roll another dexterity check. Oh yeah. So you actually go up to it and you drive, and you actually are. If there's enough open, you're able to like just get through. 
and oh. but but you realize right. as, as you come out into the hallway you you're going to have to make a turn and it's going to be a very tight turn so are you turning right or are you turning left i'm turning right okay always always go right okay I thought it was always go left. Always go left is really the rule. But yeah, yeah. Rumby, well, 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 Rum, Rumby hangs to the right. <laughs> so, oh God. So there, yeah, sure. So Rumby starts to come into the thing. He's like, brr, 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 and Chud is gonna see that, and probably Heroes is gonna react to this fucking thing coming at him. <laughs> But it appears Rumby has discovered some sort of a vehicle. Well, he's certainly going to try to get out of the way if it's barreling towards him or anything. Yeah. Uh... Calm down the horse if he's got it. Okay, wait a minute. So here's the thing. Can we see that Rumby is driving it? Yes. Yeah, it's clear okay. that Rumby is driving because okay. it's a, it's an open okay. cab. So it's like okay. he's you can clearly see big smile okay. under the okay. must because, under the big mustache. Here's the thing. If if Argyle had not seen Rumby driving it, it would have been initiative. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, no. Rumby, it's, it's pretty clear that Rumby is driving this thing, and uh, and yeah, Rumby comes into the bridge area. <laughs> the thing's like kind of vibrating that whole area. What the hell is that thing? What the, what the hell? Ah, uh, what is that? What'd you find? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically stick my thing up in the air and go worry. That's the thing. You've got to figure out if you can raise that, and raise it, and lower it. No, I think he's talking about his tool. No, my, my tool thing. He's talking about just waving oh. his tool in the air. Oh, okay. It it Rumby appears waves is cool in the air all the time. That's what I named this device <laughs> that I'm it driving. It uh. appears that Rumby has discovered some sort of a an auto carriage. <clears throat> some type That's of vehicle. That's weird. <laughs> Um, so it, every, oh, uh, let's get back to Mary real quick before we do this. Let me see here. <gasps> oh, well, isn't that interesting? Mary, mm -hmm. move back over here to her, is searching around. She's searching around the panels. She's kind of searching to see if she can make some power, make some power, make some power. What is... Apparently it's not making power. What is this over here, though? She thinks she may have found something. Am I in the right spot? Um. Yeah, you're right around the right spot. We're going to say, actually... Right there is the perfect spot. I can't see the entire room. Like, the light doesn't light up the entire room for me. It doesn't? No. Hmm. That's weird. So you don't you don't see the same thing that the stream sees right now? You're not seeing the... No, I see I see the same thing that, that the stream sees, yes. Yeah. I'm not seeing... But I can't see the... That's not the entire room. I mean, part of the room is covered in shadow. What do you mean obviously. part of the room is covered in shadow? None of the room is covered in shadow. I mean, there's a little bit of shadow... That's what I I'm guess, talking about. I guess here, right here, but yeah. it's not... like yeah. you, you can see the edges of the room, right? You can see that that is the corner of the room and that that is the corner I'm of the room, blind. right? I'm blind. I can't see the edges. Okay, well, I gotcha. You may have to turn up the brightness of your monitor. <laughs> If you have visual impairment, I apologize. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, well, but anyway, anyway, yes, you can see the entire room, uh, but you have discovered something against uh, this wall, right? Okay. Here. Um, 
and uh, you believe that uh, you believe that you have uncovered a door. Oh, that was concealed. Hidden. Yeah, it was concealed Ooh. behind a panel. You were able to like like click some latches and move this thing over, and now there's a door there. Hold on. That you had not seen before. Are you okay? Don't choke and die, please. Yeah. If you do, Sorry make sure that. it's Water rather water. entertaining. For yeah, exactly. Years. Make sure that it's entertaining content if you're going ah. to... We, we want to get ah. some likes. Yeah, the yeah. Water went, the exactly. water went down the, uh, the wrong hole there. Wrong hole. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, so is the door... So is the door a... A powered door or a non-powered door? This door might be a non-powered door as it has what looks to be a... Ooh. Um, yeah, it's got a a turny bit. Mary, a wheel. Will, Mary will turn the wheel. Hmm. It's kind of tough. Know, might uh, Mary, Mary's kid... But the people tell Mary's kid to take the wheel all the time, so Mary's gonna, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Make mm -hmm. a strength check. This is not using the new door mechanic. I didn't have time to test it. Oh damn it! Look at that. So, Ooh. I mean, it's hard, but with some persistence Mary is able to oh, get that door open okay and it looks like there's uh, an area back here unexplored she's gonna walk into the area so it looks like it's a hallway so you walk over here now directly in front of you right here is that a door? Hang on. Because she she's yeah. bouncing off of it. This right here. No, it is not a door. It's actually like an a. It kind of goes in. It's a. Uh, it's an alcove. An al kind of an alcove, and it's it's an alcove with a panel. Okay. Is the she's gonna start messing with the panel to see if it's powered? The panel does have some light, but it's very dim. Okay. She's gonna uh, start messing with it. Go ahead and make an intelligence check. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're messing with the panel, and you're trying to interpret some of the commands that, uh, that you can just barely read on there. And uh, you're able to see... Uh, to see one that seems to indicate that it's going to open something. You may be able to activate this. He presses the button. Okay. You hear a... Eh, eh, eh. And then the icon turns... changes colors. It was orange before, and now it's like a light purple. It seems there, whatever you were, a... whatever you were meant to open, supposedly has been opened. But you didn't hear anything. You didn't see anything. Well, you you went and eh, eh, eh. where did that come from? Or did that come it, from the it panel? It came. It came from the panel. There was like a eh, oh, okay. eh, eh, when you, when like you initially pressed it, that sound mm -hmm. ended, and then it changed from that. Uh, orange to like a light purple. Yeah. I for a second though I forgot that I was in space, and realizing that I'm pressing a button that says open. Says open. <laughs> I was thinking that you know, like, yeah, I'll just press that button. I don't care. <laughs> Argyle, <laughs> Rumby, and Chud get sucked out into the vacuum of space. <laughs> <laughs> Drake's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> happens so uh yeah so mary is uh is kind of exploring around back in here 
Um, meanwhile, I'm I would say that it is it is likely that everyone else has kind of come to a standstill in their individual endeavors. At the moment, it doesn't look like Solus, Sid, and the zombie are going to be able to get that thing out. Rumby's just kind of retarded. Uh, Chud isn't doing anything at all, and uh, and Argyle is uh, is having zero success at getting this door open. And uh, while everybody else is together, nobody has actually seen Mary. So that's kind of the state of things right now. So uh, let me go with the group of Solus, Sid, and the zombie. You guys have kind of realized, okay, we've tried every combination of manual force that we can think of. And this thing is, is not moving like that. Maybe if we had some other tool to be able to move this thing, we could move it easily. But right now, we, we do not. So if, well, if only we had some magic. If only you had some sort of a tool that could move this thing. If only there was a tool that if oh. everybody came together in the party and talked and everybody observed what everybody else was doing, if only there was a tool on if the only. ship that could possibly move this. And that's why we split up from the party and we go explore a section of the ship we haven't been to yet. Exactly. Yeah, that's, he's right. That's exactly. Chud can carry it just fine. That's why I went to the main area where everyone is. That's why we're... We're so meta at this point. But that's Rumby actually what I'm to... saying is Chud is saying he can carry it. Chud doesn't know it exists because Chud hasn't Rumby. been over there. Rumby Rumby's doesn't know gonna... it exists. He hasn't been over Rumby there. Rumby is going to get off of his of of his of his speed. Go to the the screen again with all the space things, and start pushing buttons again. Because he's uh, he's Rumby and he's lost interest in, in in the thing that he was driving. Okay, so so Rumby is going to then abandon the. Let's see, can I ungroup you? I might have to delete Rumby. Oh, and then, then, then just... actually, just, <laughs> if you have to, if you have to ungroup, just, just just don't worry about it. I'm sticking with that thing, and I'm mentally thinking about the screen. Okay, just, just leave me on there. Are you, you sure? Have to ungroup any. Yeah. I mean, I can un it's easy enough to ungroup you. It's not like it's this big hassle. It's just uh... Yeah, but yeah, but I'm just kind of sitting here. Can I can I I mean, I can back this thing up down this hallway, right? I can move I can turn around, and spin around and move drive I mean, down you, the hallway. You, you know that you can turn. You probably yeah, I mean, when you were fucking with it originally, you kind of could kind of back up. You've obviously backed up to get out of the wall. So you know that you can kind of back up, that you can kind of turn. But, but can I? Cuz I'm facing oh, one God. way. Yes. Yes. Argyle thought of it. Cuz I thought of it and I thought well, Argyle think of it. Argyle did think of it. Use the thing to try and fuck with this this thing here? Yeah. It's their chains and their hooks. Uh, Solus probably didn't take all the chains and hooks. No, no. no but the problem is, is there's nowhere to get the chains and hooks onto. But the hooks might actually be be more easily to, to pry down into it. So Argyle's going to go grab a hook and see if he can pry it in there. Okay. Right, what? What are you, what are you doing? Do Argyle was a hooker. Yeah. Okay. I can, so, see, I can see Argyle. So what is he doing? Okay. Do, okay. You, do you see so this thing a... right here? This. Yes. Okay. So if you zoom in real close on it, you can see that it's actually kind of a. Here, I'll zoom in for the for the stream too. It's like a. It's a little door, right? It's a little. You can see it looks like it. It looks like a, a door that comes open. So Argyle has spent the last like half hour, or probably more than that, because he's been searching and stuff. Probably like the last hour, literally trying to get this fucking thing open, and has zero. He hasn't even put a mark on it. Is there like any like place that you can wedge it, or is it just like? 
see that's the that's problem, the problem is that it's it's mostly flat like there's a little lip around the edge but this centerpiece is kind of recessed and it's flat to itself so there's there's a, a, but yeah okay but can you put anything around that edge like can you put a hook can you put anything around the edge no it's just kind of like a little lip maybe like a half inch of a lip so it's not enough to anything, like hook so, on so to. here's can the thing so can you put what, some so here, here is what Argyle has has figured out because he actually figured it out. Um, is that he's going to try to take a hook and try to wedge it down in there, then take a chain and try and, and like hook pound the chain to, and hook the take the and hook the chain to the hook, and take the other end of the chain and hook it to your machine and have you back up. So the problem. Okay, here's the problem with that, and because Argyle, I, Argyle made his strength check, he'll understand the problem with that. The problem is that the 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 thing is so tight, in fact, that all your efforts for the last hour to even wedge anything between have been in vain. The hooks, the physical hook, will not fit. I mean, we're talking about if you had a piece of paper. You couldn't slide it down in between. Wait a minute. But, oh. Okay, hold on. I can see it now. Okay, now that I can see it, is there a heavier piece of metal from that box? There, Like I said, there are several very heavy pieces of metal. Okay, good. Argyle is going to grab a big, really big, chunky, heavy, like, pole, Oh, I think I know what he's doing. And he's going to take it, and he's going to start, boom! Boom. To see if you can get it Boom. to pivot, kind of like a manhole cover. He's just going to start. That's what he's going to well, start doing it now. Won't, it won't let me do it. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I was trying to move this. Let's well, wait on. <laughs> do you see it? Hmm. No. Nice. Oh, shit. Are you are you trying to have wish, weird sex with Argyle? No. Are, are, is there no, is there okay, some my, glitch on your no, screen that looks it. really really weird? Glitch. If I take the like the machine right, and I move it forward. Uh huh. Right. I move it like I can move it as far forward as I want to move it forward. And I let go. The thing slides back. To oh, the I see. I see. Like you're trying to move it, and because you don't have permission to move it, it just goes. <laughs> yeah, basically, I can take it I can, and I can move it all the way here, and all of a sudden it goes zoop all the way to the front again. No matter where oh. I put it. Oh wait, there you go. Hey, now so I back. I figured out how to ungroup it. Yeah, like like literally, like but it was, it was fucking. It's because you were cause grouped like, together, but that's that's what it was. I figured out how. But Rumby's, but oh, Rumby, like the character, <laughs> the character would, the Rumby would move. Like that's he would move, but the machine yeah, yeah. would not move. Would like move, yeah, yeah. I I yeah, see what you're saying. Pretty, I understand uh, what you're no, saying. It was, it was pretty <laughs> no. funny. That that was the most high thing Jason's done in a long time. It sounds it sounds like he was <laughs> he's high. Jason don't even smoke no, weed, it was, man. It was it was just it was just funny. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh right, my god. So Argyle is gonna take a heavy a heavy a heavy bar and start to like beat on this thing because he's gonna try to maybe beat the teeth down so that. He can make a gap big enough to pull this thing apart. Mm -hmm. So that's right. what he's gonna do now. Okay. All right. So it's you're you're just you're strength. yeah. Okay. So uh so Argyle has decided to continue with his pursuit. Um. All right. So we kind of know what those guys are doing. Those guys are uh pretty special. Uh, let's go back down to here because there's. True. There's somebody that maybe has some intelligence over here that could maybe do something. No, there possibly. <laughs> All right, so uh, not in, not in this party. <laughs> Sid and Solus. Yeah. We were going. Group. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna walk back 
to the group and uh, see what's going on. All right. So you walk back to the group. You uh, you walk you, the Solus and um, Sid and the zombie start to make their way back. They don't see hide nor hair of Mary. She is fucking gone. Who knows where she went? Um, what they do see is Argyle and Rumby just making obscene amounts of noise. I mean, Rumby's just kind of driving this thing around or like just sitting there making noise. But Argyle has, he is just wailing on something on the floor. And you just hear this clang, clang, <laughs> clang. And should I make the strength? Should he make a strength check? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a strength check. He's like, he's, <laughs> as you guys kind of get over into the, uh, into the section here, uh, with Argyle, uh, you see he makes one last strike and the metal pole that he is beating on the floor with, uh, snaps in half oh my God. <laughs> and goes flying uh, let's see what direction does it go flying it goes flying two o'clock it goes it goes flying over here and like embeds itself into the edge of this couch thing over here and Argyle looks at the floor, and there is not so much as even a scratch. Not even a little nick around the thing. It it doesn't look any different than when you started fucking with it an hour ago. But now everybody but Mary Indeed. is all together. So, uh, I'm not even going to ask what... Um what that so guys, is about what are we doing in this ship again i think we're just looking around i think it's mostly mostly dead people though it was a distress but, uh, call they're responding to what uh what's the deal with this big machine that rumby has here what's what's that for it moves it's really loud, I know that. It was really loud. Uh, I guess it's just like a metal horse then. It's kind of weird. Seems kind of slow, but... Uh... You can see that it looks like... Uh, yeah, it looks like an automated carriage. However, there's a, something weird on it. Right near the floor, there are these two long apparatuses that are connected by another piece. And they're just... They just stick straight out. And they're really big. Uh, Sid, make an intelligence check. If you had to guess, you would say that that apparatus on the front would probably slot in right underneath one of those cages. Oh, I think we found what we need to move our cage, Solus. If we're oh, yeah, I think this would do exactly that. Oh wait, you're right. Yeah, hey Rumby, follow us. Well, okay. If I can turn this thing around, or I'll go, whatever. Ugh. Um, yeah, you know, with a with a with a bit of difficulty, you can uh, you know make a little like a three point turn and uh, and are able to kind of turn it around in a way uh, that okay. uh, you you just all right. Yeah. It, it, it's going in that direction. <laughs> so once that yeah. thing breaks, Argyle is like. He throws the the other piece down, storms over to the captain's to, to the to the captain's chair, and just like sits down in like a big old huff, and is just like, oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, so he's kind of sitting there. Um, so Rumby and the rest, they, uh, so Rumby's going to drive this thing over here then? Yes. Where did Rumby, the character Rumby, even go? Did you delete yourself off the screen? I'm, I'm, you're, you're the DM and you can't find me. Oh, no, I got, you were underneath of a zombie or something. No, I'm over here. I see you now. <laughs> but well, you were I mean, like I... you were like hidden under somebody. All right. So so yeah. So I guess so. so Rumby is able to move this back in there. And then uh I guess everybody else follows him over. Yes. And uh yeah, once you all get back there, it it appears that uh that yeah this this thing might uh might have the ability to to just slot in under there in fact though that apparatus on the front looks like it is connected to a large piece that goes all the way up it looks like you might be able to use this to even raise it somewhat off the ground to make it easier Hmm, I'm going to try to do that. I shall often try to use, uh, what, what's, what's a word that we used the last week that sounded racist? Um, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Jigger? <laughs> <laughs> what now? We're going to Jigger this thing. We jiggling oh, I her. Not, I, did, I did not use that word. Everybody um, wants to jiggle. Hey, I did. I said that's like uh, I, I listened to this YouTuber, that Star Wars girl, and she always talks about Star Wars figures. Mm -hmm. She never says figures. <laughs> it's always figures. figures, and everybody in chat's like, "What? Wait, what?" <laughs> Which is Whoa, weird because she's she's from california and she, she says it that way she so is weird. from california yeah yeah i think she's lived all her life in california too if i'm not mistaken like southern california so mm -hmm. yeah anyway um okay so everybody's trying back there sid are you going to possibly assist rumby in uh figuring out how to raise and lower the apparatus or are you just going to leave him to his own devices if I'm going with him, I will go and assist. Okay. All right. Uh, with your help, it's pretty easy to figure out how to work that apparatus. And uh, you're actually small enough that both of you can kind of sit up on the seat together. <laughs> let's. We haven't uh, stopped in with Mary for a moment. So let's drop back in and see what's going on with Mary because, uh, you know, she's exploring back there, but she's probably also hearing the noises of clanging and driving mm -hmm. and all the things that are happening out there. So, uh, so what is she doing back here? Okay. So if there's nothing more on that panel, not that she's able she's to find do, now, because she's got, you know, she understands direction. She's going to go this way first and see what she can, is there anything this way or is she hit? There's a short is... hallway, and it looks like mm -hmm. the end of the hallway has. It kind of looks like a locker. Okay. Is it locked? It is. But mm -hmm. you look at it, it's traditionally locked. It looks like it it's has like a... a padlock on it. But it's a really complicated looking one. Interesting. Hold on. Maybe if Ren was here. <laughs> <laughs> all your all your thievy people are uh actually Ren Ren's not specialized in that kind of stuff. It no, would be more like Timmy. That, yeah, it'd be more like Timmy. Only you, Timmy, were here. If only Timmy were here, but all your thievy people are uh, away. They're all space whaling it up right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was eating pretzels. Nice. Uh, she brought home chocolate-covered peanut butter pretzels the other day, and I had a couple of those. They were nice. Oh man, you, you got the bowls. You got the bowl you, you, things. You know what I? You know what I? I get a craving for every now and again are chocolate-covered potato chips. That sounds I mean, good. Yeah, sounds like that sounds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need it for sure. Yeah. Every nice. now and again. Anyway, so she doesn't have anything. She'll make a note that this is here, mm -hmm. and then she's, she's going to start moving up the other way. Okay. And it looks like there's a, a corner, a turn. Yeah, so it looks like you can turn the corner, and then there's just a very small room over here. And okay. <clears throat> what is in the room? At the edge of this room, you see... It looks like there's it it almost looks like okay I'm gonna describe this for you so that you understand it so that you'll be able to interpret it for Mary's interpretation it almost mm -hmm. looks like you are looking at a frosted shower door which so wall like, is this? So like right in the middle of the wall that you're facing when you turn the corner, it looks like embedded in this wall is a frosted like shower door. So is it giving off like any temperature if she gets close to it? Like if she walks up and puts her hand on it, what does it feel like? Does she walk up and put her hand on it? Mm-hmm. It feels cool, but not cold. Not any colder than the temperature of the surfaces, the other surfaces in here. Is it glass or metal? She should be able to tell that by touching it. Is it glass, or is it the, or is it whatever this ship is made of? It's possibly glass. Okay, she's gonna start to try to wipe is it frosted on my side or the other side or can i tell it's uh it's you're you're not sure it's uh but you start to wipe mm -hmm. you start to wipe and <laughs> you're wiping you, th you think you see a face it's 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 really it's real hazy. You like mm -hmm. keep wiping and keep wiping. It's a purple face. It's a sin. Maybe you can't tell. It's it's still indistinct. It's a very it's very cloudy. Okay. So you're looking at through a haze. So you 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 see just the very basic features. You can kind of see eyes, and but it's it's again you're kind of going like this. It's like imagine you're doing this, and it's still kind of steamy and mm -hmm. almost, but it's not steam. But yeah, there there's definitely like a like a cloud over. It, but then the the glass or whatever is not totally. It's <laughs> It's not totally opaque, but it's not totally transparent as well. It's kind of frosted, so you're not getting a a full image. Is there are there any panels in this room? No. Okay. So she's going to head back to the alcove. Where is the alcove? there mm -hmm. and and start to mess with the alcove a little bit more okay make an intelligence check oh make an intelligence check for argyle oh god No. Okay. All right. 
So Mary's kind of screwing around with that. Argyle's still just kind of pouting over here. Everybody else, other than... did Wait, did Chud go with everybody? Or is he still kind of hanging out in this central area? Uh, we'll say he followed behind everybody. Okay, so Chud and uh, everybody else are now over here. And everybody's down in this room with uh, good old Rumby and the forklift. And... Rumby now understands how to operate uh, the lift mechanism. He's forklift certified. He is. Uh, <laughs> he's forklift certified now. He's gonna have to get that uh, forklift uh, skill. Um, I'm pretty sure forklift as an ability, not part of the SRD. So uh, forklift skill <laughs> copyright. Uh, Dicks in the dark. Uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, 2023, don't use uh, forklift skill or we will sue you. Thank you very much, forklift. Mm -hmm. mm. Under under license correction of of <laughs> the southern coast. Dicks in the forklift. Dicks in the forklift. All right, so For so is Rumby so is Rumby now with uh, Rumby and Sid? Are they now going to attempt to pick up this? Uh, this undead wolf yes. cage. Yes. All yes. Right. All right. So go ahead and uh, make a because you got to get up up in there. Uh, make a dexterity check for Rumby. Oh yeah. All right. So you're able to. Get over here, and uh, let's see. Can I go? Yeah, I can make it underneath. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then, ah, uh, uh, <laughs> wait. I can take the wolf, but not the thing. <laughs> well, the cage is part of the map, isn't it? The cage probably oh, is part of the map. You're probably right, but that's okay. We know what it's. We know what we're talking about. That's all right, you can just put in the same location yeah. that the cage in the lab is. True, sure. exactly, exactly. So, so uh, no, I so, can't see anything. Or no, I can. I moved everybody. I'm gonna move it for the stream here so that everybody can see what is happening. And then, uh, yeah, Rumby moves the wolf into this little room here. And uh, you're able to, uh, where are you placing the cage? Are you putting it over here by this thing, or are you putting it over here by this thing? It looks like there's a spot on the wall right here where you might be able to get it. Yeah, wherever it looks most natural, probably. So uh, that'd be the opposite of wherever it looks most natural. Yeah. Be, so. yeah. yeah. So someone, just, someone should probably someone just, should direct Rumby where to go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rumby, Rumby, Sid. Rumby would stick uh, in. Yeah, Rumby that's a job for Sid. Rumpy would be like, I'm going to get this thing to pilot this device, this, 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 and to, this is the thing that the pilots the thing. Exactly. Oh, we know Rumpy. Uh, empty tubes for it to go to. I thought it was this one over here. So you realize that there's probably actually enough room to stack this one on top of the current one. Hurry up, you're confusing Rumpy. Put it on top yeah, of this one. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, one more dexterity check to stack, to make the stack. Oh, come on. I do it. I'm getting pretty good at this. Rumby's getting pretty good. He's definitely forklift certified. And uh, once you do that, are you going to pull this forklift out of the lab? Because it is pretty big. Are you gonna um, pull out? You gonna pull out? Uh, Rumby, of all people, 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Rumbies like hell no. <laughs> Got lots of little rumbies running around. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure I'll pull out. All right. So now you have a the wolf in the cage. Well, the wolf is still on the fork. Well. Thing. Oh yeah. Here, let me get that wolf. Stick it in that cage. The wolf. <laughs> Despite all my rage, I am still just a wolf in cage. cage. Mary thinks uh, that uh, that uh, she's probably not gonna get any. She's she has exhausted her uh, her knowledge of okay. what she's doing here, and it doesn't it doesn't look like she's. She's able to get any any more information. Uh, does she want to uh, explore she's, more she's back gonna... here, or is she going to join the others? Well, there's nothing else to really explore, so she's going to go see if she can find Sid and maybe somebody else, and come back to this. Let them. She's going to come back and see if she can let them know what she's found. All right. When she. Uh... When she enters the saucer section, she realizes that the entire party is there. Uh, other than Argyle, most everyone is concentrated in the lab. Or near the lab. I'm going to assume that Chud joined everybody back in the main section of the ship. Yep. He's patrolling. So now everyone is essentially together, because even though Argyle is over here, it's, I mean, that's only, what, like 20 feet, 30 feet. So everybody's together. I found something very interesting. Oh, what'd you find? I, I think I found another sin. Is he dead? I'm not sure. Sid, I might need your help with this. What? Why did you bring... What is that thing? Oh, we found uh, some kind of undead wolf-looking thing. And uh, we were going to see if maybe Sid probably is the best equipped for this, but if he could do some, like, lab work or something. Try to find out what they were doing here. Mm. Yes, I was going to hook some various tubes up just to see what they did. Oh, God. Out of curiosity, is Mary carrying the device, the blacktop? Does she have that? She's been, she, yeah, she's it, been it, carrying that the entire time. But is she like ha, ha, like carrying it visibly so that people can see it? I'm just curious. Or um, did she put it away? She, she's probably put it away by now because okay. she's been using both her hands. Gotcha. The only reason I'm saying is because every it may occur to all of you now that you're together that you haven't been together this entire time and that all of the information that you all have individually uh come up you know come up with not everybody knows so for example that thing that you found um, well, no, you... people were around when i found it everybody knows that i have it because i carried it i carried it from one room to another do, do they though where did you find in, it? In at? all that everybody does anybody know what I, it is? That's what I'm saying. It's like you have this thing, but nobody it, knows what it is. I found it here. I mm -hmm. carried it over to here. But here's what I'm saying. Let me let me it. let me stop you, Dan. Does anybody else know what that is? I have no idea. I don't uh, know there you go. It is. That's know, that's what I'm saying. Like is. nobody shared any information with anybody, so I, I, the only reason I'm saying this is because we're ending a second session. We're getting ready to end a second session. And, like, because you're not sharing information, you, it, things are really starting to drag out. Like, mm -hmm. like you, you, I, I, you haven't even explored the whole ship. 
So, uh, so Mary, did you? So, like from the outside, the you rent... would know that the ship was bigger than one floor, mm -hmm. but you've only yeah, but been on this where, one floor. Uh, but well, well, we don't know how to get anywhere. You don't. Well, that's the thing. But, but that's... Argyle has been trying to get down to the next floor, and mm -hmm. he can't do it. But like, for example, you are you do know that there are two hallways that you haven't even looked in. Right. At the very, oh, at something. the very back of the oh, ship yeah. and stuff. But that's what I'm saying is that there are various pieces of information that you should probably share with each other, so that right. everybody Run is me. on the same okay. page. Because okay. everybody's been okay. split cool. up and doing different things. Everybody has a different mode. Like Argyle wants to open this thing, but why? Like he's hey, he's he told anybody why? Like what is he trying to do? Does anybody know what Argyle's trying to do? But Argyle, probably not. No, Rumby like he never really explained it. Like that. nobody's really explained to anybody else what they're trying to do. So nobody really knows. Like everybody's kind of like, well, what are we all doing? So yeah, it would be good to at this point probably share information with each other. Because right okay, now okay. nobody knows what's going on. So Mary, when you were uh, when you found that sin, is that in part of the ship we haven't been to yet, or? Are there yes. more places to go? I found a secret door, and ooh, I like that. There's a there was a panel behind it. I was able to open something, but I don't know what I opened. But well, I then, found. Uh, but then I also found. Uh, it seems like the sin is behind ice. Ice. It's interesting. Like how that guy stuffed in the barrel was all cold and stuff? I don't know if that's the same thing or not. Well, let's go check it out while everyone deals with this stuff here. I don't think I can help anymore anyway. Well, um, I can come back to this. Uh, I don't think there's really a time constraint on this. How about I go with you? Uh, what about this door over here? This goes down. We know the ship is bigger. I can't get through this damn door. I got this oh. vroom vroom. And this stick that goes buzz. Yeah, well, that's kind of apparent to everyone, I think. You know, it's really loud. But what but... about this magic key that I have? It what allows me magic? to... I have a magic key. It allows me to float through all objects. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this huh? is why we don't. This is why we don't get shit done. Uh, yeah, yeah, because 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 Rumby is goddamn retarded. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm oh. releasing. Releasing I, uh, off like steam. I would say um, this though. Here's the thing: think about your characters. You've been around Rumby for a really long time. You know uh, him. You know yeah, him, I'm, right? Like yeah, when Rumby I'm, starts, like just retarded. just spouting nonsense. I feel like, he's especially bored. like smarter people in the party, like like Mary or Sid, are just Walk gonna away. be like, "Yeah, okay, he's just being Rumby." Right? Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, think about stuff like that. Don't just be like, oh, yeah, he's our party member, Rumby. Like, you know Rumby. You know him. Yeah, I, I get that. I'm putting that into perspective. But, but I'm also Rumby, Solus. Rumby, uh, yeah, Rumby, yeah. Well, Rumby, yeah, Solus Rumby, not Rumby super needs, smart. Rumber needs entertainment after so long. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely entertaining, that's for sure. Mm. So, but, uh, okay. So, is, so is everybody going to head back to that, uh, that kind of secret door area. Sure, I'm. Uh, sure. I'm interested in the thing Argyle's working on with the floor, but uh, maybe we can come back to that once we, we should stick. We should stick together the as a group. Sounds logical. Efficient. All right. So totally out of character for Kegel. Yeah, <laughs> well, Kegel's Rumbie, not here. Rumbie it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> Unless, I mean, yeah, I exactly. You don't Rumbie, know. Rumby did transport us to another galaxy, so she true, could be here. True. Yeah. Yeah. So, if everybody makes their way back 
uh, into that hallway, you do see that Mary has discovered a secret door, and that behind that secret door was a uh, a little area uh, that had an alcove with some controls, and uh, there is... When you enter, you can see the locker here. You can see the alcove with controls over here. And right here, you can see the uh, man see behind shit. the glass. Dude, where am I going? Are we over here? Yeah, over here. Well, yeah, where's my... I don't know, I guess my room room is over there. You're probably not going to drive... It's probably not... It, you just leave it's it there. It's definitely little... Yeah. For the moment, for I, I don't think you would be able to get it back there. So you're probably going to have to leave I can't it. see. I don't know what I can see. Is, uh, uh, is Rumby, Ch- move right here. Is Chud going back there, too? Chud's where's the where where, where is the where is the man behind him? What's that? The man is like right here. If you move your character here, Rumby. What did you say, Harrison? I said uh, he's gonna k- keep an eye behind them where they came in to make sure no one follows them. Okay, so he's gonna kind of hang out here there. in the door, in like mm-hmm. inside the room or outside the room. In the hallway. Outside. Okay, so like out hallway. here. Okay. Oh, okay. And is Argyle following there everybody, or is he... S- oh, Argyle, because everybody left, mm-hmm. Argyle is thinking oh, that my maybe God. he can use... <laughs> you oh, no. Use the machine? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> to try to open the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me ask this. Rumby just left it. Did he leave it running? That would be uh, probably probably a year. yeah. I'm gonna say he probably would have left it running. So it's probably just sitting there running. Okay. Yeah, Argyle's gonna get on. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll deal with that in a minute then, because that's separate. <laughs> Everybody else is basically back here. So once Mary has led you back to this kind of secret area, you're able to see over where Solus is. Against this wall, there is a, a locker with a physical lock on it, like a padlock. But it's it seems it's a technological padlock, but it's still it's familiar to you. It looks like a lock. It's not like a, in a panel or anything. Um, in here, there is a computer console that looks like it has some minimal power. And over here, recessed in this wall, you see this kind of it's like looks like a frosted glass almost, and it's a full pane like a you know, it looks like a, the size of a doorway, basically. And behind it, you can see kind of this, the image of a, a person. Uh, when you kind of wipe away, you can see it's a purplish. So you would assume that it is a sin person. But that's what you got. So what are those characters? You still have a pry bar? Can pry off that lock on that lock. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, if we don't have it on us, I don't know. Uh, I guess it might have been Argyle that probably had the pry bar, right? So I'm gonna go back and get. You, that you need to pry something. What do you have to pry? There's a lock oh. on this on this wall over here. There's some kind of lock, and we want to get it off. I'm gonna try my 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 tool. Your tool. Your magic float through everything. Yes, I pull out my tool. It goes. It's a secret tool that we'll use later. I don't know what it does. (laughs) I'm gonna try. I want to try my tool. It goes. Stick it against the lock. Okay. Does anything happen? It rotates. But the tool doesn't have anything attached to it, so it just kind of rotates really fast and kind of like sparks and makes a bunch of noises. Man, if there was like a blade on there or something, that would be really useful. But as is, it doesn't really look like it's gonna do much. But it looks like there's an Man. like it looks like you maybe could put something in there. Like the part that rotates just, has has like a you know. Has I just like a finally remembered what that tool was. Yeah. It's like yeah, a it's a like, rotary what, tool. What he's got this like yeah. yeah, he's got this extra heavy duty rotary tool, but it doesn't have anything on it. It just at the moment it just rotates. So uh it looks like 
because everybody's kind of yeah. looking at it now. I mean, Rumby may have not realized, yeah. but now that everybody's kind of looking at it, you you can see that. Oh yeah, it looks like maybe there's there something there could be could jam an in there. attachment. There could be something that could go on there. However, Rumby, as you're uh, also looking at this thing and thinking about attachments, it might occur to some of you, and I won't even make you make an intelligence check because you've been on the destiny knife. for a while. That if anyone has any kind of a plasma weapon. I can pull out they my would know that like, the that gun. you know that fuck that fuck shit up. You would know I that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can it's too bad I don't plasma. use plasma weapons. Yeah, so you I would have, have seen them. I, have... I don't know if anybody has any energy weapons other than Rumby, but Rumby definitely has some guns. Yeah, I have my 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 plasma like uh, like crossbow Sid, things, but I, Sid has I really one. don't. Sid has don't. one. I don't think yeah, do. Argyle gave you one. Argyle, Argyle handed uh, maybe like two sessions ago. Argyle handed Sid. He tried to throw it to him at one point, but it, he was too far away. But or did you ever do that? Maybe you yeah. didn't. Did you? He, did you give it to yeah. him? Yeah. So gave yeah, it to Sid. You should have a, a, a little gun-like apparatus uh, that you have not tested. Oh, like yet. the nobody's, little pea shooter gun. Nobody's ever I tested. Think I, you, well, you don't even know if it's a P. You don't even know really what it is. It looks like a gun, but no one's used it. That's what you said. <laughs> oh. Well, just in case, it's I'm like, going to go, it's go like, back. It's like the little the pea shooter mark. gun from, from Men in Black. That's like... Because <laughs> I think gun. maybe what happened, Dan, is I think that you said you were going to give it to Sid. But then I don't know that Argyle and Sid were ever in the same area again. Like, you said you were going to oh. throw it, but then you guys were mm -hmm. never, like, or maybe you were for, like, a minute, but you never said, oh, specifically, now I'm going to hand it to oh. him. So I don't think we ever so maybe... played that. Oh, God. So I don't think Argyle ever Argyle... gave. And see, that's what I'm saying. It's like when you guys split yeah. up and then you, you don't you don't talk. It's like no, everybody's got all this different, all these tools, these different things that maybe well, could thought, help. I thought I... I really thought I gave it to him. Yeah, That's I don't think thing. you did. I think you said that oh. you were going to, and then never did, because it's probably yeah, if Garrett doesn't have it, it in his it. inventory, he didn't he didn't take it. And Argyle yeah. is doing something else right now, so that tool is not something that anyone. <laughs> yeah, our, that wouldn't occur to Argyle now. And, and well, why would it anyway? There, I mean. It, he's not even with them, so it wouldn't even occur like. Well, no, well, no, it it doesn't occur to him that he's actually got the gun on him still, so mm -hmm. it actually pointed at the floor. Oh, <laughs> to do use it himself? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, does. Yeah. He doesn't even. He, so no, because he's focused on the on the machine. So now he's going to try the machine to to use it himself. Our, yeah. Because Argyle is used to using his strength and used to using brute force punch things true he's true. not used to using these energy even though true, he's kind true. of trained with the big ship energy weapon mm -hmm. the little ones nobody's really given him one because i, th I think they're kind of afraid to okay well, there's teachers and talking to all the time if rumpy pulls out his fucking blaster and shoots the fucking thing i don't know why he hasn't d done that already because it seems like something that rumpy would do but yes that makes rumpy sense okay so rumpy pulls out rumpy his blaster shoots he tired of it. and he shoots the lock off the thing and it's just when it just disintegrates and the thing pops open what's in there Nifty. hmm what is this there's there's a bunch of stuff in here it looks like there's some boxes on top of the boxes there are some clothing and on top of the clothing, there's a scepter. a scepter. Where is this? Can I see it? Like, where the hell is this shit? This is this is in a locker over here. So actually, Rumby would be like right there, like looking at this here. So yeah, you see, you see this scepter, and it's clear what it is. Actually, make an intelligence check, Rumby. First to raid shit, motherfucker. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Yeah, it's but it's it's crazy. It's like it's this super fancy looking scepter. 
sitting on this super pa fancy looking pile of clothing, sitting on several boxes. That's what's Wait, in the locker. Is, is everybody, can everybody see that? Anybody that's over there, they can look over Rumby's shoulder. I'm grabbing it, baby. I'm grabbing it. Does it... I'm grabbing the scepter. So you grab the scepter and you've got it's big. It's like you could you could almost use it as a weapon. Oh yeah. I'm gonna start scrounging, like scrounging through the clothing. And it's kind of like so you ever something actual. Do you do you remember the last Starfighter? Oh do, no. Do you remember oh, when yeah. the dude gets the scepter and he's like ching? And he's all he's like he's all cocky, the Zor guy. It's like that. It's like this big fucking shiny. It's all fancy looking. That's right before he dies too, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do we do? We die. Luke. We die. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so so Rumby has taken the scepter and he's like he has this, but there's this pile of clothes and there's these boxes. What is everybody else doing? Is it there was I a have terminal uh, in the middle? Like a low power terminal somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Barry, actually, oh, right where Sid, you are. Barry, right where yeah. Sid is. Right uh, I want to Mary mess is showing with that Sid the look terminal. at it. Terminal, yeah. She's going okay. to show, show him what, what she did to op open whatever she opened, but she's also going to show him every, you know, what she did. Okay. Uh, Sid, make an intelligence check. So you start to mess with that. Now, Rumby, are you going to be satisfied with just having the scepter and taking Fuck that? No, or are you gonna are you gonna start rummaging, rummaging. through things? I'm rummaging. Okay. I'm rummaging through all right, everything. all right. So you're you're taking the clothes and like going through the boxes and stuff. You've taken everything oh, yeah. out and you're going through stuff. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so you're going through things. For Rumby now, you're not sure who, but it looks like these are the personal artifacts of somebody important. Like, you would Does say that the clothes... Look, yeah, everything in here looks expensive. It looks nice. There's, like, they jewelry. They look like rumbies. I mean, you know, it's it's weird looking because it's not it's kind of alien looking to you, but you can tell like it's it's just everything in here looks nice. Whoever this stuff belonged to was like rich rich guy or something. You're like fuck yeah. But I'm saying it looks like Rumbies. Like he's pocketing it, whatever he can pocket. Oh, that, well, that I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So he's like kind of going through. Is he looking for anything specific? If he sees anything that looks like his weaponry, of course, he's going to take it first. And then from there, he's going to move on to something that looks like jewels. Just or well, he, wealth. I mean, you know, anything that looks like wealth. wealth. Okay. All we right. Weaponry and wealth. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So Rumby's just going, he's like going through these boxes. Uh, is Mary going to just hang with Sid and kind of try mm -hmm. and help him operate yeah. this and mm -hmm. what is solace doing during all this solace had left before rumby shot off the lock and uh he was gonna go get a pry bar and uh he enters into the the cylindrical room and sees argyle messing with the forklift but okay. i don't think he really cares i think he's just gotcha. gonna go get the pry bar and do his thing okay so he's grabbing a pry bar and he's going straight back yeah, basically. You okay. Know. All right. Okay. If uh, if Rumby can operate a forklift, I'm sure Argyle would be just fine. All right. That that sure. <laughs> I mean, that tracks. That tracks for Solus. I feel like sure. <laughs> okay. So uh, so Solus, you're easily able to uh, make your way back to the saucer section, grab a, a forklift or the forklift, grab a pry <laughs> bar, grab the forklift or something, Put it in my back pocket. something akin to 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 a pry bar. And um, the, whole the whole party has forklifts. You have a forklift, yeah. and you, you have get a forklift, forklift, and you get a forklift. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're able to uh, to grab that and, and make it back. And uh, 
Oh gosh, Argyle. Okay, let's see if Argyle is successfully able to even drive the forklift. Make an intelligence check. Oh, almost, almost had it. Almost, almost had, it. had it. Argyle is like not even able to get the damn thing to move. Cuz Argyle has no doesn't have any any really you know, Rumby has had vehicle training. Rumby can, you know, Argyle has had no vehicle training whatsoever. Not really. Not like this. Mm -hmm. So he has no idea what the fuck he's doing. He's just like, this This thing is just a, a, an alien piece of craziness to him. Uh, 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 damn it. That wraps that up. Yeah. <laughs> it does, Sorry, doesn't bud. it? Okay, so uh so Solus makes his way back with the uh with the pry bar as uh Sid starts to to try and glean some information from this computer. It seems like it seems like as far as you can tell Someone important is being held in some sort of stasis. Mm. But the exact nature of that, you don't really know. You can't glean any more specific information. Mm. Okay. And you think well, Mary would... might have already disengaged the... Like, you think you might just be able to open that thing. The one in this room or the stasis referred the, to? The, in the... The, the, the thing with the person in it. Like, if that is the stasis, in fact, you, from what you're interpreting from this computer terminal, you think you might just be able to open it. Okay. Oh, well, let's go try. Yeah. Meanwhile, oh, Solus yeah, is coming yeah, in. Incredible. He's got this big <laughs> metal thing. I got Argyle, it. Guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Argyle walked over next to um uh, Chud and is he's just gonna hang out with Chud. Okay. <clears throat> That's yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Like Chud is a man of few words. Argyle doesn't like to talk to people. He probably just sits near Chud a lot because he doesn't have Which to talk. Because they don't talk people. to each other. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. So uh so what about this group over here then? What are you so, gonna do? Oh, what the oh, fuck was that? The fuck was that? That, was, that was Kevin. <laughs> 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 oh my. So I guess uh Mary and Sid are gonna try to figure out how to how to actually open it. Yes, that is what I'm trying to do is Is there a scene that, that they can put their fingers into to maybe try? They're gonna look, start looking. <clears throat> when you look at it, you see that there's there is it's not really a panel. It almost just looks like a little the whole thing is kind of looks like glass almost with a with a thin um, seam around it with a thin little like what looks like a seal. But near the middle on both sides, that seam kind of comes in a little bit. So there are two little panels. Now, they don't have anything on them. They're not like panels in the sense of of like a panel. It's just like covers the there's no glass there it looks like there's metal over the glass at that point does that make sense do you know what the fuck i'm talking mm -hmm. about yeah yeah so if you touch yeah. that what happens do you touch it do you just touch it or do you press mm -hmm. do you put pressure put pressure the left one or the right one uh left you push you touch it when you push pressure, it pushes in, and you hear it go, click, and then the whole thing goes, and pops out. And it looks, and it's, it is now out from the wall. 
the the piece of kind of glass has kind of come out from the wall. Is there is there enough space to look around the glass? No, no, no. But it feel if your is your hand still on it? Mm -hmm. It feels floaty now. Floaty. What if I push in the one on the other side at the same time? You push that and it clicks, and now it's like the glass is kind of suspended just out in front. And like you like can. We can let go, and that's where it is. Well, you can. Uh, you, with your hands still on it, you can kind of move it. And it, when I mean floaty, I mean it like floaty. Like it's in air now. It's not mm -hmm. connected oh. to the yeah. It's kind of floating in front, so you can kind of so if, if you move, move it to the left. Do you do that? Yes. Yeah, if you start to push to the left, yeah, it kind of floats over to the left and kind of slides over across, and it opens a chamber and kind of goes, and this kind of fog kind of rolls out, and you see. A man, just a naked man standing there. A naked, purple man, kind of covered in this. I don't know. He looks a little slimy. He looks a little slick, and he's just kind of standing okay, so... up in this. On this, there's kind of this thing that's holding him up. He's kind of in this apparatus, but he's standing. Okay, so Mary then is going to walk over and start to use hung. Her He's healing, hung. Her huh, her healing and medical skill to examine him to see if he's alive. To just start, she's basically going to do a basic examination like she would do on. The okay. Oh damn it! Oh my god. Uh, sin He's physiology may be different than human physiology, as well as the fact that you're not even sure. I mean, it said this guy was in stasis. You don't, you don't even know what that really means. It's it. I mean, you you do, but mm -hmm. what what does that mean in the like? How can a person be in state? Like what? This it's it's all a little new. Is he hooked? Is he hooked to anything with tubes? He is not. Is he? He's not. He's just like on a. He's just kind of propped up. On yeah, like he's a kind bone, of he's like kind of propped up on a on a an apparatus that kind of is kind of holding him in place. But it looks like you could pretty easily like pull him out if you wanted to. He's tall. What do you think, Sid? Not old, but you, you're not really sure. He doesn't look elderly, but he's not a child. He looks like an adult. Tall, muscular. Um, you would say a prime specimen of, uh, you know, of the sin species. He's, 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 sin cut. Race. he's cut. He's got, you know, he's got broad shoulders and, you know, you might even say that he was attractive. Well, Sid, it looks like you have another zombie for your collection. Um, well, he may still be alive. <clears throat> if he's mm. dead, he's perfectly preserved. But you're not 100% sure that he's dead, Sid. Is uh, there anything behind nothing him? else? Yeah, like no panel or anything behind him where there's fogs coming from. No. No. And it's weird. I mean, he was like back here, hidden, in a in a sense. You know, maybe before we explore too much further, maybe we should take him back to the destiny. He. The, it did say he was important. So Maybe Drake would know alive. more about him. Yeah, he's familiar with the sin. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can Mary make an intelligence check to see if she recognizes the face? 
Oh, like from a TV? Yeah, make an intelligence check. If, in fact, uh, you know... Oh! I mean, she's wiped his face off. She, you know, she she was examining the guy really up close. She Pretty looks poorly. At his, she looks but... at his face, and then she thinks Lord. about the locker. And mm -hmm. she comes back out, and you see Rumby, and he's like sc scavenging through all this stuff. And there's this scepter, and you look over at the scepter, and Solus looks at the scepter oh. at the same time. And this is lore. Prince lore. This is lore. This is lore, lore cocked of the Simperion overlordship. Wow. The guy, thought, the guy that thought dead. His own father, yeah. No, yeah. no, he didn't kill his own. Well, yeah, he killed his own father, became the. Yeah, he killed Rao, became the the overlord, and then was killed by the Ganger team. In the show, uh. that's that that was supposedly what happened, but now you're looking and that scepter, Rumby didn't recognize it right away, but. If you say the name, he probably will. Everybody probably realizes. And then you yeah, look at the stuff. Just, you see the clothing. Mm -hmm. You see the articles yeah. that Rumby has kind of scattered around. And yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Rumby. Wow. We need to take the, we need to take everything back to the ship, and we need to do it now. Hey, do we have a communicator on us? Because they're not still attached to the ship, are they? Actually, are, are. Is our ship attached to the ship? Like yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like docked in it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, then yeah, let's in, just go. In fact, in fact, I didn't put him on the you map. Can walk there. I didn't put him on the map, but but Mike is just chilling in the Explorer at the moment. I didn't I didn't put right. his character on there, but he's mm -hmm. been hanging out back at the Explorer, thinking like, uh, what the hell? Is Man, they're going taking a long time. Yeah, it's like, mm. what is going on over there? But you know, I mean, Mike knows the deal. He's like, eh. Wait, where is Mike anyway? Mike? Mm -hmm. Mike? Yeah, oh. let's get this guy back right away. I feel, I feel like we need to tow the... I feel like the the yes. destiny needs... The to destiny tow this needs ship? To, the destiny needs to come, and we need to completely look into the entire... Look at the ship entirely. There needs to be more of us, but we need to get this man back to the... We need to get this man back to the ship. And talk to the captain, and we need to talk to Drake. Well, Definitely. all you actually have to do is go back to the Explorer. From the mm -hmm. Explorer, Drake and Guy are flying around outside. Drake and Guy are here. They're just, yeah, just yeah. they're yeah. just, they're just making sure that you guys don't get attacked while you're while you're in this ship. They're just. They're basically standing guard outside in strikers. So they're there, and you can still, you can, you know, you don't have personal comm links, but the ships have, have comms. So you can absolutely, um, you know, contact the Destiny from, from this area and contact both uh, Drake and Guy. You just have to figure out exactly what you want to do. Well, that's what Mary's suggestion is. That yeah, we that get seems... this guy back. We get this guy back to the Nova or to the Destiny immediately. Yeah, this could be like really important. So let's yeah. do that. Get him back and contact everyone. I agree. All right. Are you going to uh, get Argyle in on that as yeah. well? I'll, yeah. I'll actually yeah. go and inform Argyle of what happened. And tell him well, to... and Chad. <laughs> well, and yeah. Chud. I guess everyone outside. So are you gonna pull him out? Are you gonna pull Lore out of this? Uh... Actually, we're gonna ask Argyle and Shud to do it. Mm, that makes sense. Because, Put them on they're, the because they're the bigger guys and they can actually like <laughs> carry him. True, true. Yeah. So you uh, you inform everybody in the party, and surprised, you know, Argyle and Shud. Yeah. This is, everybody's looking at this, and everybody's looking at the scepter and the guy, and they're like, "Fuck, this is this is him. Yeah, this, this is, is it. this is the guy." And uh, you're able to drag the body of Lore as well as the boxes of 
uh, things that he had, as well as the um, as well as the scepter. Now, uh, Rumby, I haven't forgotten about you. I I know Jay that uh, Rumby is most certainly has pocketed some items. <laughs> So oh, yeah. we'll t- we'll talk about that later because he was he was alone for a while. <laughs> so fair enough. So fair yeah, enough. you know, fair enough. Uh, Rumby's definitely uh, you know you know. So uh, but otherwise, yeah, you you get the boxes, you get the scepter, you get lore, and you drag everything back uh, to the explorer. And then, uh, do you let Drake and Guy know exactly what's going on, or are you going to wait to update them until... No, we're going to be like, we found something. We found someone. Drake, Uh, Guy, come in. Drake Tungsten here. What'd you find? Well... Oh, Mary. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> the show. In the show, it says that. In the show? All of, all of you killed Lore. Oh, is you're still true? talking that's... about that. Uh, yes. I, Drake Tungsten, uh, hero uh, extraordinaire. No, of course we, uh, of course we killed Lore. It was really the, really the princess's doing. Uh, rest in you peace, missed. Mare. You missed. What do you mean we, we have him missed? On... He's on the ship with us right now. We're taking him back to the destiny. Follow us. W- wait, what? Is there is there a view screen that he can see? Nah, it's just audio. <laughs> oh, okay. At the moment, anyway. Okay. Uh, we're, are, we're are, heading are, back to the destiny. Uh, hmm. Wait until you. Let's go. You'll be. You'll see when we dock. Guy, are you reading this? Yeah, Drake. I don't know what to say, but I might be able to give some more insight on this. Wait, what? Maybe. Next time. Next I'm time. <laughs> up, up, and away. <laughs> Nova Destiny. Lore lives. Bum, bum, bum. Nice. And just to be clear, it's not the lore that's going to be in the stupid ass Picard season three. Not played. Not not that guy. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. <laughs> Well, that's very interesting. That was a fun little session and, uh, you know, kind of an unexpected little thing. Big thing, really. But... Out of nowhere. Some some more lore. for Some more lore. Lore. The lore enjoyers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lore. Cool. I was like, damn you guys, do something. I was like, discover some shit. There's shit for you to discover. Discover some shit. <laughs> hey, we yeah, discovered the we shit. We discovered a forklift. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So. so his mother is also his grandmother. Is that correct? Am I yes. reading this more correctly? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that is that is accurate, or at least at least okay. as far as you're aware, from the Wiki, <laughs> well, from the what? Wikipedia that uh, that seems to be correct. Well, you know what? You know those royals. We're kind of used to that on our world. It kind of happens. You know, I mean, gotta keep those bloodlines pure. Exactly. Oh yeah. Gotta keep those bloodlines pure. Yeah. For sure. Cool. So yes, yeah. yeah. Interesting things afoot, and uh, I will tell you that this is not the uh, the. There's, as I said, there's more to the ship. So, mm-hmm. you know, you're not done yeah. with this ship. 
Unless we somebody gotta come just back and... decides to blow it up, but uh, don't do that. Now yeah. that you know, now that you know the secrets that it might hold. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for next week. That sounds like mm -hmm. uh, start the guess this. Uh, I don't know how much of the ship there is left, but uh, on the progress to get this wrapped up. And, uh... Well, I think we're gonna be. I think for a little bit of time we're going to be back on the Destiny next week for a few, for a little bit because that's going to need to happen. Likely, sure, likely sense. what I'll do is is we'll 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 the Destiny <laughs> section will probably be pretty quick. You know what I mean? It'll it'll be mm -hmm. uh, okay. Here's what we found, and then the captain. You know, I'll probably kind of skip ahead and be like, okay, you're on the Destiny in a room with the captain, like in the med bay with lore on a thing. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of started out yeah. with, with that whole, with everybody kind of together there and, and uh, kind of go over things. And then likely what's going to happen is this, the captain's going to send you back and say, Hey, what, what, what else is there? Maybe we could get something on the ship that might help us with the, uh, the, the hatch door we can't open. Also, the black book, the black, the black, uh, black book that you well, have. She, Mary will probably pull it out once we're back on the destiny, mm -hmm. because she, because at this point now she's thinking maybe everything is related to this guy, and she's gonna pull it out once we're back on the destiny, because Matt will be there as well, mm -hmm. and Matt's smart. Matt can pr tell me what this does. Mm -hmm. Sid's smart too. All right. Sid, Sid still kind of creeps Mary out a little bit, though. Even though she like hangs out with Sid, he mm -hmm. still kind of creeps her out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, having the dead that you killed walk around. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's a little creepy. It's something yeah. to get used to. Yeah, oh, we're bringing the zombie with us too. By the mm -hmm. way, yeah, I mean so. that that makes sense too to bring the zombie. I mean, even if he wasn't, it would make sense because he's also some sin dude. Even though you don't necessarily mm -hmm. recognize him, it wouldn't wouldn't probably would be a good idea to take him just to have him and uh, all that stuff. Might not even be a terrible idea to. Uh, to take the remains of the fucking like the dude <laughs> this this smashed up guy out here just to see what you can see while you're back on the destiny but that's up to you guys if you want to gather up probably wouldn't think of that yeah but, probably uh... not but yes so uh so yes <sighs> interesting Thank things Argyle. <laughs> Argyle still got that augmented chest piece with a little gore still on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I uh, this coffee is starting to do its magic, so I'm going to go ahead and excuse myself. Uh, thank you all for watching, if anyone is still left. And uh, yeah. we'll see you next week. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good night, Cameron. And uh, if you guys are... Still hanging out. We're the dicks in the dark. We appreciate you. Thanks yeah. for watching. Fuck Wizards of the Coast. Fuck Wizards of the Coast. Fuck them. Fuck Wizards of the Coast. Good night. And have a great evening. <laughs> hey there. This is Garrett from Dicks in the Dark. Check out our live stream every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't worry about missing a stream. The VODs are uploaded to the YouTube channel the following day. Check out the links in the description below.